Hello everyone, this is Vigil's A32, and I guess this is Magical Mondays. <laughs> Basically, those of you who saw my little thing yesterday, I decided I'm going to start doing some magic again. Every Monday I'll try to bring you a trick, maybe a tutorial. We'll start with this one. This is a trick that I created before. I've, I've already done a performance and tutorial on it, I believe. I think it was based on a trick called Numb, so I called it Number than Numb. <laughs> or maybe it's dumber than Numb, I don't know. So anyways, I got a deck. Fairly normal people have been wondering about this deck. This is the... Yeah. Amazing Adventurer's deck. And what we're going to do... Is well, let's get these cards face up. I'm gonna pull out a pair of cards. Let's see, we got something here the two red queens, uh, red kings. Sorry, take the two red kings out. We'll have a card selected. Let's say three of clubs, and and then another card. Let's say. Let's say the Jack of Hearts. No, let's say something better. Seven of Hearts. <laughs> Whatever. And let's take these cards. I'm going to take them and lose them in the pack. It's like so, a couple of cuts. And this one as well. And that is that. They're lost in the pack, as you can see. And I'm going to take these two kings. Nothing between them, obviously. And let's give them a little wave. And instantly, one card does actually appear between them. And that card is you want selection, but three of clubs. That's pretty cool. But if I take, I'm going to flip this back over, these kings and. Three of clubs, we'll flip them face down and watch the snap. Instantly, that three changes into a seven of hearts. But once, if I take the seven of hearts, we'll flip it face down, give the pack a cut, a snap. One card is now face up. It's actually the three of clubs, the other selection. And it is actually sandwiched between, you guessed it, the two red kings. I don't know what you all think of that trick, but how about, oops, there goes my mat. <laughs> I knew this was not going to be a good idea. Oh, great, I just screwed up my cards too, because these have like a one-way design on the back, and they're all mixed up. <laughs> all right, all right, let's do a little tutorial. It's very simple. I started off, take the top guard, try to break underneath it. And I did a, that's not what I did, <laughs> I did a braille reversal. Catch a break underneath the top card, cut half the cards, flip them face up, and take the other half and flip them face up. So what you get is a face up, face down card on the bottom. Then I pulled out a random pair of cards, I used the two kings, you can use them as well. Then you select a couple of cards, let's say these two, eight of clubs and jack of diamonds. I placed one on top with a break, and I double undercut it to the bottom, which is like the bride reversal, except no reversing the cards. Then I did the same thing with this one. And, yay, we're gone. Flip this over. The cards are actually right here on top with a face-up card underneath them. So then what I did is I caught a break underneath the top card. Took the two kings. Squared them up. And did a classic sandwich. Took the cards, made it appear. And there it is. The jack of diamonds. Then what I did, I ended up flipping that one back face down. 
I caught a break underneath the next two top cards, which is a face-up card and the other selection. Took the sandwich, squared it up on top of there, flipped over all five cards, just like that. Did a little magic, and instantly it looks like the selection has changed into the other selection. But these are not the kings. Well, it's one king and a random card. So if I wanted to, I could flip this over and show a king. But I didn't do that. And then, of course, you have to be careful with that. Then what I did, so I just fixed my thing here. It, it, then what I did was, I took the selection, flipped it face down, did the pack a cut. Snap again, spread through, and you will see somewhere it's not a very good cut. Hopefully, sorry about my camera keeps stopping. So, you spread through the cards, you find you see one card is face up, it's the other selection, the first one, and lo and behold, it's sandwiched between the two kings. I think it's a pretty cool trick. I'm not sure how original it is. <laughs> but it is something that I apparently created. Might have been in a collab with someone. I don't remember. Anyway, that is Magical Mondays for today. <laughs> I'll try to keep doing this every week. Bring you a trick. And maybe a tutorial. If you have a trick you want to share with the, with the world... I'll be more than happy to perform it, as long as I can. If it's too complicated, I can't do it. And if you want to do a collab on something, that's fine as well. And that's my trick. Hope you enjoyed it. And tomorrow will be a card class. I'm going to be doing card classes Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays as usual. I'll do deck reviews Wednesdays and Fridays, maybe Saturday. And I'll do shoutouts on Saturday and Magical Mondays. So that's what I got. I'll see you next time. Let me know what you think.